Uh, today I'm joined by Adeo Resi of the Founder Institute. Talk a little bit about the differences between entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs. I'm a serial entrepreneur. It's actually my eighth company and I've been doing entrepreneurship in the broadest form for about 20 years. I started my first business in 1994. Uh, we sold that for about 750 million. Then I took a company public except created about two billion dollars of shareholder value and I certainly understand entrepreneurship uh, inside and out. That person probably would make for a good entrepreneur or intrapreneur and you might want to give that individual an opportunity. The two things that you would need for successful entrepreneurship within an organization or intrapreneurship would be a framework, um, some sort of ability for them to uh, collect and marshal uh, resources. Uh, the different methodologies of entrepreneurship, the skill set can be taught. You need to be in a given structure and have the processes around you that, that enable you to execute. The skills are relatively easy to learn, but if the structure is not there, you'll definitely fail. You need to come up with some sort of structure to allow the core problems of the business to be solved by non-obvious groups and employees can contribute to solutions. A little shift in culture goes a long way. I think every organization will be a little bit different based on the composition of the workforce, the level of uh, the projects or the complexity of projects that they need solved. Uh, but I think they all can do it. Yen, you, you, you're talking about an issue that is the, the issue of our day, right? We're seeing entrepreneurship taking off outside of the organizations and seeing it take off within the organizations is probably one of the most um, important fields of the modern time. Thank you.